Tennessee Walker is the color of your eyes. A token for my memories. Now the notes to cut your hair. Now oh, this is how I want to know you. You look at me through those locks and eyes. Good evening. On tonight's program, we have with us an up-and-coming star of the music and film industry. The star of such films as An Apple a Day, Not in the Face, Don't Touch Me There, Tube Journey, Debbie Does Grant, and the upcoming independent feature film horror comedy, Buck Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Eller. Oh, uh, good evening, America, the world. Uh, Grant? Cows? Thank you, Jason. As many people who don't already know the story, how did After Nine come about? So back in, in 2000 or so, uh, Rick Boyd and myself uh, created After Nine as a way for, to have a creative outlet. You know, we play cover songs, we, we wrote some music, uh, then we added a bass player and a drummer uh, for about two years. And then we, uh, the bass player uh, left and the drummer left. Rick and I continued for a while. Uh, then Rick bade farewell to the project to, uh, to, to be with his family. Um, as I was striving to push harder to play Lansing, to play Chicago, starting to realize that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Why the name After Nine? How did you come up with the name After Nine? I would say after... Uh, you know, going through names like the Slick Willie Teasers and the and the Two Dudes and uh, and me and you and the Rick and Jason and Jason and Rick, you know, how that goes. Um, I was dating a gal actually from Cheryl's Hair Company. Uh, my girlfriend Cheryl at the time was like, well, "Why don't you guys just call yourselves After Nine? You never get to practice till After Nine anyway, because kids got to go to bed." And Rick and I were like, "Yeah, yeah, After Nine. That's cool. Let's do that. After Nine. So. The name, the name stuck, and uh, I've traveled with it ever since Rick and I uh, parted ways. So, no hard feelings there. Which turns you on more? Pigtails, knee socks, or chew toys? Oh, I know where this question came from. It was... I, I didn't really know, you know, for sure. Because like, I've, I've actually thought about this question. It's funny that you asked that. Um, the chew toys, uh, that turns Mercedes on. Mercedes is my dog. Um, but uh, I'd, have to say, I'd have to say the pigtails. Um, only, only though, on a girl that's at least 18. You know, I, I want I want to make sure that, that <clears throat> pigtails, 18 and up. I, I, I've, I've even seen a hot 55 year old with pigtails. You know, not so much the pigtails like Jim Carrey wore when he was a chick in that uh, on uh, what was that Living Color? You know, the whoa, they had the pigtails coming out of the top of his head. He wasn't hot with pigtails, um, long hair, you know, not Pippi long style stuff, long, long Pippi long stocking style, but more, uh, more like Heidi, you know, not even with the, uh, I, don't, I don't even like the braids so much, I don't like them both braided, I'd, I'd rather have them simply, you know, fluffy and come out, and preferably in front, you know, so you can see them, otherwise if they're in back, it just doesn't look proper to me, to me, so, um, what was the question, pigtails? Pigtails. Or? Uh, knee socks or chew toys? Oh, knee socks. Knee socks come a close third. There's a second, but I can't tell you what the second is because you know, it's not cable. Indeed it isn't. I would like to know what your response would be to this hypothetical situation. Let's say you're approached after a gig by someone who is huge in the music industry. This person has the power to make or break you. They provide you with a once-in-a-lifetime offer. He would ha you would have to sign the contract immediately, but there are some stipulations. You would have to join another uh, no, join another band, play their music, not really your style or genre. They would provide you with instant fame and wealth beyond your imagine. However, your career would be totally in your hands and their hands. Or, let's say that this was his your only opportunity for wealth and fame in the music industry. 
Without this opportunity, you would have a much smaller local fan base and be able to play in local bars and clubs. However, you may always struggle financially. On the positive side, you would have complete control of your own destiny, freedom to sing your own music, and be able to stray, stay true to your musical style. Which life path would you choose, and why? Well, you know, I, I mean, right off the bat, you know, you go, well, I, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to sell out. Now, having said that, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith said, sell out. You know, do what you can to do what you love. But, it doesn't sound like the, the former question allows me to do what I love. And there is more to life than money. I, I, I truly believe that. And I've seen that myself where I've made choices that seem like good choices, but in the long run, you, you lose a bit of yourself. And I would rather not lose that bit of myself, you know. People, my friends know me, they know that I'm loyal, they know that I care about them, they know that I do what needs to be done in order to uh, help myself succeed, as well as my friends succeed if I can. Um, I just did a great show with my friend Jack Maddich, uh, we, just, we just finished filming it, and uh, I did it for free, you know, because I know that, that that's right now, the position he's at, that's what he needs, you know. He can't pay eight, $800 for me to come out like he should, you know, so... Yeah, you get a freebie here and there, plus he fed me some shitty pasta. But uh, I would have to say that I would rather remain true to who I am because I want my fans to always see me as being true to who I am. In a three-legged race between yourself and a person of your choice, against a three-legged champion greyhound, who do you think would win? <laughs> is there a rabbit? Yes, there is a rabbit. Well, I've got to say, if it's a person of my choice, <clears throat> I'm probably going to choose a girl, because I'm a big fan of the opposite sex. I love girls. And uh, chances are that once that rabbit takes off, that greyhound's going to greyhound's have a lot more drive to catch that rabbit. Because he doesn't realize it's a rabbit on a stick, you know. Um, whereas I do, and so the girl that I pick, I'm going to want to make out with while he's leaving. Because I, I don't want the dog to see us making out. So I would, I would say the dog, the greyhound, probably win. All right. I'm <laughs> going to give you a series of scenarios, and I want you to choose which one you would prefer and explain your answer. First, would you rather end your career as, one, an Elvis impersonator in Vegas? You would, only, you would have to live in a house with all the Elvis impersonators indefinitely. Or a Barbara Streisand impersonator in Vegas, but you would have to live in a house with Vegas showgirls indefinitely. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, I think if, uh, if I had to choose one there, I would choose... Now, I'm chicks. Didn't I go through that already? Yeah, yeah, give me the chicks. Would you rather end your career as, one, someone who delivers singing telegrams dressed as a bunny, or a tap-dancing street performer in the subway? Do I get to pick the subway? I mean, New York or Chicago or wherever you're at. Well, this, this, the, if it was Chicago, I would say probably the tap dancer because because I've, I've been to the subways in Chicago and they're, they're fairly nice. I've also been to the subways in New York. I'm not impressed uh, with the, the the rat population is really growing out of hand, and I think they would simply steal my show, especially because I think they're starting to learn how to tap dance. Um, so, um, what was the question? <laughs> Would you rather end your career as someone who delivers singing telegrams dressed as a bunny or a tap dancing street performer in the subway? Yeah, I would, I would definitely say the tap dancing street performer in the subway every once in a while in a bunny suit. Tennessee Walker in the color of